Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome back to X4 Foundations, where I am currently in company regard, for there are more of the, uh, of the new sectors to find, and I've been told very helpfully by Goldo Zozio that, uh, the, 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 sectors are going off to Lardy sectors and I, I had a little bit of a look up to see if I could find out where and I've heard that they're from uh, the company regard area so I'm going to have to scan company regard but as you can see company regard is still being attacked by Xenon because the uh, the Xenon have been pouring through this gate over here and you can see that there's uh, there are battleships everywhere uh, and there's a good old scrap going on. I might have to check out uh, Scale Plate Green soon. There appears to be a station being built. Or at least the uh, the foundations of a station being built. I wonder if that's Xenon or if it's uh, or if it's Taladi. But they've destroyed a good number of, uh, of uh, Xenon P over here. Alright, let's get to our ship. Our ship is over here. Still in company regard, as, as I said. Uh, so yes, it's time to get scanning, and I I have no idea where this uh, where this station where this um, thing could be. Hang on, wait a minute. There's already three on here. Is that it? No, that's an inactive gate. Interesting. Hmm. All right. How did I not notice that inactive gate before? What's this? An unknown station. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in company regard. I, it's a shame I haven't got any um, uh, satellites on me. I could have been uh, finding some satellites about the place, unknown but no. Station. Let's check out the unknown station to just make sure it's not a, a, a Xenon station, which is entirely possible. Uh, and then we shall continue, continue to scan the sector because I really want to. Uh, I want to see if there is a gate around here. If there isn't a gate around here, then I can always try other. Um, Taladi sectors. It's been a while since I've had a fly about the, to the, tal bleh, the Taladi sectors. I have been fighting more of the Xenon. I've taken out a uh, wharf uh, in the uh, in the the sectors we, we were we were flooding with our fleet before, uh, and taking out the wharf uh, completed that sector. So that sector is now empty, although. You know that these sectors are going to fill up pretty soon afterwards. Right. Scan. Aye, aye. What's all this? Phoenix. Phoenix. Vanguard. Ah. Peregrine. Vanguard. It looks like a defense station, but... A defense station crowded with ships. It has been ages since I've been in company regard. Hmm. Scan. Let's see if anything else has shown up on the scanner. Well... There's the inactive jump gate, but it does say quite clearly it's an inactive jump gate, so it can't be that one. Hmm. Am I wrong about company regard? Is it another sector that's around here that's got the uh, the other sectors going off it? I don't know. I've bought myself a load of um, a load more uh, nemesis and decked them out pretty much as I deck out all of my nemesis, which is to say all with the bolters and plasma guns on the top. To deal with Xenon, because that seems to be the best way of dealing with Xenon. Let's go over here. I cannot do that. Uh, that's because I selected somebody else. There we go. Let's go over there, and then we'll scan over there, and that's probably more likely to be a place where the, the we're, we're more likely to find what we want. Yes. Empty yeah, space. so I've got, uh, I've got Nemesis, and I am just posting them all around the universe, because then I can just teleport straight to a Nemesis from a Nemesis and enjoy my time... Being somewhere feeling safe-ish. I say safe-ish because I'm such a bad pilot that uh, if even despite the fact I'm in a Corvette, uh, I still find trouble with just the slightest of, uh, of enemy in my way. Well, that's definitely a new station over there. Yeah, I've clearly not done a very good job of scanning this place at all. How could I miss a station like that? Aye, aye, there's another one! Wow, okay, so we, we are just doing a terrible job of scanning. Ah, he says. Making another terrible job of scanning. <laughs> right, is there anything, any, 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 no, 
Right. <sighs> hmm. What's that? Unknown object. What? It's probably a mine, I suspect, because that's too close to that gate to be another gate. That would be just insanity. Hmm. Unknown object. I'm tempted to go and check it out. It's probably a mine! It really is probably a mine. I wonder if I can see it yet. Because sometimes you can just... No, won't let me. Okay, fair enough. I'll go and see what it is then. It's not... It won't be a gate. It can't be a gate. It's, it's way too... It's way too close to the other one. I mean, I, I, you don't usually get two gates right next to each other. Although, having said that, there are two or three gates near each other in... Um, what's its face? Uh, the one that was full of Zedon before. It's up north. Wait a minute, let's have a look. It's uh, Hatikva's Choice. Hatikva's Choice 1. It's got it's got gate and then a, a, a thingy right next to it, so it is possible. It's just unlikely. Let's go see. Oh, I do hope it is there, because if it is there, then that'll be awesome. Come on. Let's get going faster. It's no good going in just normal travel. Because I go at like 400 or something like that, which is is nowhere near enough. I want to be going at thousands of kilometers an hour. Or minute, or second, or whatever. This is a mine, isn't it? Is it a mine? It doesn't look like a gate, because if it was a gate, it would have shown up properly. Mm. Oh! That was a Xenon defense station. Okay, so that explains why they uh, they came here in force. That's definitely a mine, isn't it? Are you a mine? An advanced satellite? Oh, Taladi Company advanced satellite. Eh, fair enough. There's a lot of the Taladi around here. They really don't want the Xenon moving in, and I don't blame them. Okay. Let's give it a good scanning. Fail. I'm so good at missing the timing with these things. Right. So there's, a, there's a thing over there. That's just the uh, highway. Which doesn't really take you anywhere. What was that? That's the in inactive gate that we've already seen. Hmm. Well... I might have been uh, I might have been incorrect in my assumption that company regard was the way that the uh, the places were. <laughs> oh well, I'll have to have a search around. I'm, I'm quite surprised though. There is an inactive gate over there, but hmm, I don't know. Don't know. Oh well. <laughs> I can always test the other gates around the place. No problem. There's an inactive gate there. I wonder if it's still inactive. I mean, that it has to be inactive. If it's saying inactive, it's inactive, right? Maybe I should just check it out, just to make sure it's still inactive. <laughs> Unless it's been changed. It's probably inactive. I'm probably going here and finding nothing. But we will see. I'm tempted to go into uh, Scale Plate Green and see what the how the Xenon is set up and how the Taladi is set up. I will have to send my forces in to uh, deal with the Xenon in time. Or just, like, cap where they are so that they can't get out. Because uh, it's also good to just do that because the... Uh, the Jump gate. Xenon are kind of helpful. They keep things moving in the universe. Especially once you've destroyed the HOP. Because, uh, obviously, if you destroyed the HOP, that's one of the major warring factions that are warring with everybody. Uh, and if you've destroyed them, then, uh, you know, that's one less set of people warring. But then if I build loads of stations about the place, that should kickstart the economy a bit as well. I don't know what's going on with the economy, mainly because I never, I never actually interact with it. So, you know, it could be useful, it could be not. You see, that looks active to me. You always find this. You, you're flying close to a gate like that, and it, it says it's inactive, and then it looks active because it's got the it's got the blue swirl. It says it's an inactive gate, but it looks very active to me. Is it just going to suddenly stop looking active soon? Or am I going to fly through it? It still says inactive gate. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, game! It's flown me into another Entering sector. System. Turquoise 
sexy. Yes, this is the new sector. Wow. Okay. But it said inactive gate. So presumably when you've scanned it the first time before they put these uh, these new sectors in. Wow, this is awesome. I can see why they've called it turquoise thingy. What's that? Is that just an asteroid that's not loading right? It looks like an asteroid that's not loading right. Asteroid. Asteroid, yes. Oh no, it's a, you, mm, sort of. Yeah. Maybe I should have uh, I should have had my graphics set in a different way where it wouldn't it wouldn't look weird. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's get scanning because I want to see if there's anything else around here. I don't think that there is likely to be anything else around here. I've heard that these sectors are pretty empty. But however, that doesn't mean that they might not have something in them. Because the Xenon are around, obviously, and I've seen a few building ships in this area. Where are you now? Well, drop it. I don't care. You've probably not got anything valuable anyway. Right, okay, so that's that. And that leads us into another one over here. Is there nothing around here? Let's just have a quick look. It's not going to take us long. There seems to be a lot of asteroids around, which is nice. Again, another good place for uh, for for grabbing um, materials. I do wonder if there's going to be any inactive gates off these sectors, because obviously adding new sectors always gives you the opportunity to add more inactive gates. Uh, and then inactive gates would be useful for if they choose to... Um, choose to um, make more stuff for the uh, for DLC, which I know that they're, they're, they've got this split DLC and then they've got another DLC in the planning and nobody knows anything about that at the moment, as far as I'm aware. If you know anything about that, then, you know, please tell me because I'd be very fascinated to know. But, uh, yeah. Now, the, the interesting thing about this sector is that it reminds me of Boron Sectors in uh, in previous games with all this blue everywhere and uh, and that sort of thing it really does it does it does seem unknown object hello there i know what an un unknown object's likely to be you're likely to be a gate aren't you or are you the other thing that i was looking at earlier hmm we'll have to see i shall get over there and i shall see you soon all right Unknown object, we're getting very close. It looks remarkably like a gate. So, I don't know where that goes. No, I really don't know where that goes. Unless it goes into the back of scale plate green. Hmm, that's possible. I'm a little bit worried about that now. <laughs> I don't really want to find that I'm going into the back of scale plate green. That would be bad. It's full of xenon. And they don't like me, for some strange reason. It is going into the back of scale plate green. Okay, fair enough. So this does actually send us straight into scale plate green. Well, we'll check it out. I haven't actually been in scale plate green for a little while. But it does mean that there's a through from scale plate green, which is actually quite helpful because that means that uh, you, if, you, if you go into scale plate green, you can quite quickly get out of it. Uh, which is, is good, really. I don't know what's going to be right next to this gate, though. I don't see any Xenon in this sector. So they've clearly not found it yet, which is not a surprise. Entering system. Scale plate green. Hello there, Xenon. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay, so it's actually... Ah! Interesting! I was kind of expecting it to lead into this one, because uh, this is obviously... This is the, the first scale plate green. And this one is the 567. Uh, so this is not the one that you go straight into when you uh, when you go from company regard the first time. This is quite good because it's this nice little circle thing here going on now. So instead of going to there and then being stuck there, you get to go straight round from to, to the turquoise sea, ten, uh, and then you go round to the other one. That's, that's that's nice. How's this place going anyway? Uh, okay, so I still need to do something about this place. There's another station over there. All right, so they've got a wharf uh, and uh, and several defense things. We really need to move into there and actually destroy them. As I said, I've destroyed everything in Faulty Logic um, 7. 7 seems to be a number they like. Anyhow, 
so I shall move my uh, my ships over there soon. But we have more exploring to do for there is more of Turquoise Sea. And I'm quite curious to know what it's going to look like. So let's get back. Especially because I don't really want to go flying headlong into the Xenon. No, 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 no. Come on, let's go this way. Good show. Yeah, it's quite a lot of them. And I'm really poor at shooting, so yes. We'll get out of here and, uh, and we'll be fine-ish, maybe. There's a, good, there's a good possibility that we'll just about manage it. <laughs> okay. In! And back into the nice... Entering system. Very boronish looking place. <laughs> it does look incredibly boron boron esque. If it had loads of uh, big big green stations in it, it would look amazing. Big green stations with the uh, oh dear, I'm flying a bit faster around here. Uh, with uh, with little bubbles of water around them is 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 would be great. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any of those for a little while. We might get a little, uh, some of them in time, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a fair while. Anyway, so we know where the gate is now. I can't imagine there being anything else around here at the moment. Because it looks like the Taladi just haven't bothered moving in, so hmm. Alright. Let's go over here then and see what this object is. Uh, not that it's really difficult to tell, considering it's actually quite well labelled as a uh, as a highway. Right, I shall get over there. Empty space. Into empty space, and I shall see you there. One thing I did wonder is: this is is this place for uh, a good place for gathering ore and stuff? And it does appear that there's plenty of uh, plenty of ore deposits and such like in this area. So uh, it might also be a good place to gather crystals as well, because there's nothing here. So there's absolutely no. Um, no things to get in your way. I'm not particularly great at gathering crystals, so I'll probably not bother. Uh, but if you were to start a new game, then uh, it might be handy. I don't know. It's usually more handy to be in a Xenon sector. And it is right next to a Xenon sector. So this is the sort of place that might get taken over by the Xenon pretty quickly. Uh, so, yeah. That, that would be a thing. It's even got Navidium. Just look at all of these asteroids full of stuff. They're definitely going to have loads of crystals on them. Yep, no doubt. Okay, so we're heading into the superhighway to the unknown sector. I have a, 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 a strong feeling it's going to be very, very linked to this one in, in that it's going to be another one of the turquoise sea ones. So we'll just have to see what it's like and if it connects to anywhere else. Ooh, that's lovely. Look at that. Wow. Entering Ooh, I like that one. Because <laughs> of the, uh, the little... There's, there's, it is like there's a, a sea level because of the background. You, you can't really see it very clearly with all of this um, sort of uh, nebulous gas around the place. But uh, in, in that, it cuts out the ne nebulous gas effect and just gives you the, uh, the background thing, which really does look like there's a, a sea around us. Okay, so let's get scanning and see what's around. If there is anything. Hello, anything? Am I all on my own in here? I think I am. <laughs> yeah. So say, that'll be the same planet, of course. And then there's the other planet in the background, which is more Earth-like than, uh, than the planet we saw over there. Okay. Wow, how did I get this far away from the gate? Okay, let's go over here and see if there's another another gate or anything. I doubt there will be. This might be a dead end, this area. I'm really surprised not to, uh, that we're not seeing any um, inactive gates in these sectors. Because uh, I really would have thought that they'd have taken the opportunity to add extra gates in the place. Because if they've got plans for other things... Add more gates, definitely. I mean, uh, sure. When when the expansion comes out, they'll they'll have op plenty of opportunity to add extra gates. So it's it's not the end of the world. But uh, I would have thought that they would have added more gates here. I really would. And now I feel like I should be checking out all of the uh, the inactive gates again, because uh, obviously 
considering the fact that we flew into an, uh, into what was labelled as an inactive gate. No wonder I'd not found it before. <laughs> it should have been set as unknown when uh, when I went near it. That would have helped. Okay. Another scan. This is just a lot of rocks and nothingness. There's gas in here. I, I, I can't remember who told me, but whoever told me thank you. Uh, if, you if you see the, the blue clouds, that means that there's th these blue clouds here. That means that there's gas in the, uh, in the in the place. I always wondered what that was. It just seems to be strange. Okay, so there just doesn't seem to be anything around there. Now, if I go over here... Will there be anything there? There's only one way of finding out. So let's head in that direction and do some more scanning. Zone, zone. I'll see you over there. Right, time for the scanning, which I fail immediately because that's always the way I do these things. Okay, nice blue clouds. So there's loads of gas around here. I don't know what type. And I haven't got any gas miners, so I'm, I'm probably missing out on a lot of uh, good resources, which I probably need. Never mind. Maybe I should stick some stations over here and uh, and see. There's nothing! Okay, so Turquoise C10 and Turquoise C9. Why didn't they take me to 9 first? Hmm. Oh well. Uh, Turquoise C10 and 9 seem to be completely, totally, wonderfully empty. So, yeah, they're, they're just like Napilius Fortune. You can just take them over whenever you like. Although there's more in Napilius Fortune. Oh, you sneak! Uh, these, um, these HOP stations that keep on appearing, they appear all the time. I can't believe it. Every single time I go away and come back, they're trying to sneak some more stations in, and I just have to send this fleet around to destroy them. They never get built. This is a fact because the HOP don't get to send any of their um, any of their builder ships over here because they just wouldn't make it there's i mean there's there's a a, a sea of uh, of um Paranid over here the Paranid have flooded this sector with uh, with ships now uh this sector less so they seem to have uh, gone over here rather than staying near the gates so i don't know if they're planning on uh, sticking some stations in there i really hope they are but uh, i don't think they are i think they're keeping to the uh, the the defense stations, which is weird. You would have thought that once they've got some defense stations in here, they would move in a load of, uh, of production plants, but they're just not. So we'll have to we'll have to look into that. I might have to uh, go to these areas and see if um, see if when I get into them that I can get some station building missions. And if I do, then I'll start building some stations around here because I kind of want them to uh, to move in properly instead of just sort of half moving in and leaving it at that. Uh, faulty logic still empty, um, which is is great. I mean, both of those are empty now, so it's uh, it's practically ours. I might move some stations in there in the next episode. Uh, also, we need to destroy the Xenon over here, which is always fun. Uh, they've still not taken over Frontier's Edge, which is good. But somebody's building over there, and as we put some satellites in, we can just about see around the place and I need to put some more satellites in there however we shall have to do these things in the next episode because I'm all out of time in the meanwhile you take care thanks for watching feel free to watch other things on my channel feel free to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time bye for now